everyone good morning good afternoon good evening all depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again and thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my people we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes guys as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country President Mohamed Buhari has um, just um, exposed himself yet again that he's a detector. We know that um, his recent action of the Twitter ban shows it all. He claims that uh, we're under civilian rule, but guys, we're far from being under civilian rule. You know, there's been speculations going around uh, before now that uh, Buhari is, uh, is the way he's running the country. He's running the country from a military uh, perspective. You know, he was a military man before. And to me, I feel nothing has changed. Imagine what he just did recently. Even regard, uh, regardless of the criticism he's received, he's refused to budge. Well, what's going on right now is that the United States of America, they've just sent an immediate warning to President Mohamed Buhari that Buhari needs to take an action immediately or else he should be prepared to face some consequences. We know the sort of ties we have with the United States and even um, the international community. There's no country that is an island of its own. We have different sort of relationship, trade relationship, uh, um, different sort of relationship. And we can't just work on our own like that. It's surprising that Buhari feels that um, he can just take some actions in the country and the international community will not step in. They will not speak concerning it. Right now, regarding the Twitter ban, we know after lots of criticism initially, uh, the the tweets um, the message came from presidency that um, Twitter has been banned indefinitely. That was what sparked massive reaction. Later, they adjusted it, amended it, uh, uh, um, to maybe so that it will sit well in the eyes of the public and stated that um, it's for some certain period of time. But regardless whether it's a short period of time and a long period of time, it is illegal. It is against the freedom of speech. It's against the freedom of speech. Earlier on, um, the United States, um, they've spoken before this time. The U.S. mission in Nigeria issued a statement earlier on that the same right that applies to citizens offline should be the same right that applies online. But these guys, they don't understand all of this can see the sort of uh, uh, people who are who surrounds Buhari incompetent people it's even shocking that the attorney general of the federation does not know that this is a breach of human rights to ban people from using Twitter Twitter is not only the social media platform there is Facebook there is WhatsApp there are um, different things is Instagram so very soon let's be expecting that um, he's gonna shut all of them down because he cannot say that Twitter is the problem of the country you know the 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 defense he has was that um, twitter has caused a lot of problem mr president has twitter caused a lot of precedent as against what boko haram and the fulani headsmen are doing to citizens fulani headsmen have been killing people non-stop even um, um in spite of the ban on open grazing in spite of the evacuation notice given to them They've been carrying out their activities. And the only reason they are doing all of that is because they know they have a lot of backing, a lot of support. No one can do anything to them. Let's think about um, that um, uh, Fulani warlord in your state, Wakili, who was arrested. He was arrested by OPC member, Odudua People's Congress. They arrested him and they thought that let them do the right thing, hand him over to the, to the police so they don't take laws into their hands. At the end of the day, it was the OPC members who got arrested. Wakili, we've not heard anything, and he was the one responsible for mobilizing Fulani Hetzme, telling them which farm to attack, where to go, and all of that. So it's, it's so painful. But all of this is open to the international community. They've just put out a statement for Buhari's to uh, um, act immediately. We'll bring you all of the details in a bit, but before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Thank you once again. The United States government has warned the Nigerian government to immediately reverse its ban on Twitter, adding that it was tantamount to opposing free speech. Samantha Power, an administrator of the United States Agency for International Development, made this known in a statement on Wednesday. She revealed that Twitter has over 40 million users in Nigeria, adding that the directive must be reversed immediately. 
There are nearly 40 million Twitter users in Nigeria, and the country is home of Africa's largest tech hub. This suspension is nothing more than state-sanctioned denial of free speech and should be reversed immediately. The U.S. mission in Nigeria has also issued an earlier statement via its Facebook page, pointing out that the ban was an encroachment to the people's rights to freedom. Nigeria's constitution provides for freedom of expression. The government's recent Twitter ban undermines Nigerians' ability to exercise their fundamental freedom and sends a poor message to its citizens, investors, and businesses. Banning social media and curbing every citizen's ability to seek, receive, and impact information undermines fundamental freedom. As President Bidin has stated, our need for individual expression, open public conversation, and accountability has never been greater. The path to a more secure Nigeria lies in more, not less, communication alongside concerted efforts towards unity, peace, and prosperity. U.S. have just um, won Buhari's government. You know, even um, as the ban has been on, we know there are some well-meaning Nigerians, even clergies, who have stated that, unfortunately, we are not going to follow um, that ban. They've been using Twitter, and even the news broke out to that time. Anyone that uses Twitter will be sanctioned. You know, Twitter, when Twitter responded to all of these, that in the meantime, why they are uh, following this case, because they, they, they put out... Um, a question they put out a demand before Buhari's government that Buhari's government should provide where in the law, where in the constitution that it states that um, they can actually um, stop people from um, speaking online or receiving information. While they were uh, they they are on that, they provided Nigerians with an alternative how to access um, Twitter, how to use their Twitter. You know, Buhari told all of the all of the <laughs> all of the uh, internet um, companies not to grant access to Twitter. See his way of thinking. This mentality will not take Nigeria anywhere. You know, we're, we've been asking, that, how did we get here? Why are we still here? It's because of these sort of leaders we have, myopic set of leaders. And it's also sad that he's not just by himself. He's surrounded by uh, media aides. He's surrounded by... Uh, the vice president is there as well, Yemi Osibanjo. We have a um, chief of staff. Chief of Staff is there, Gambari is there, Attorney General of the Federation is there. We have a lot of people who are so, who are, are around him, who one would think that um, they will tell him that, no, this one is not going to work, this one is not good enough, don't do it this way. But um, see what we'll still get. A detector, that's what he is. Well, let's see if he will heed, if he will uh, pay attention, if he will listen to what the U.S. have just stated. Thank you, guys, and please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So like come your way again with more updates. Bye.